Back on May 25th, Hollywood Reporter published the following article. Ezra Miller's The Flash and Pixar's Elemental encounter box office headwinds. Early tracking shows The Flash opening to a soft $70 million at the domestic box office. For the purposes of this video, I'll just stick with The Flash story. So this was the initial domestic box office prediction, $70 million. Which for a big movie with a $200 million budget would have been very low. Typically, these films need close to $100 million or more on their first opening weekend and to make at least twice their production budget in order to cover their marketing budget also. But The Flash has made even less on its opening weekend than was predicted. According to Box Office Mojo, just $55 million domestically. That is really low. Now, some people may have been put off by controversies surrounding the primary star Ezra Miller. But I also think that the character of Barry Allen, The Flash, just may not have enough of a draw for cinema-going audiences in the way that Batman or Superman would. Maybe the filmmakers felt that having a sufficient amount of high-profile supporting appearances from the likes of Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton would increase interest. Or the plethora of cameos, CGI and real-life actors that could serve as nostalgia bait for fans. But I guess it didn't work because the box office returns haven't materialised in the amounts that were hoped for. And the film looks like it will be a box office failure. As you know from my review of the film, I was not impressed by The Flash. The story is a bit of a mess. It's not especially original or engaging. There's some nice heartfelt character moments. The opening action scene, specifically the Batman stuff, is really good. It was nice to see Michael Keaton return as Bruce Wayne Batman, but I don't think that's enough to convince people to go and pay and see the film. Also, some of the CGI was really bad in the movie. I think one of the biggest issues is how Warner Brothers have approached the DCEU over the years. I believe that if this film had been scrapped, and instead they made a Justice League 2 in its place, with Henry Cavill as Superman, Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and Ezra Miller as The Flash. This would be a very different conversation right now. I believe there was an audience for the Zack Snyder vision of the DCEU. I don't think it was everyone's cup of tea, for sure, but I think it was building into something potentially huge. And instead, it was basically scrapped in favour of a new creative direction. This Flash film transitions away from the DCEU that we've become familiar with and restarts this franchise in time for a new vision for the DC Universe under the stewardship of James Gunn. But I think my biggest problem with this transition is that it's effectively being done by erasing the Ben Affleck Batman and the Henry Cavill Superman, the two best components of DC on film in recent years in my view. I think this is all potentially another reason that The Flash failed at the box office. Fans want continuity and stability if they are to invest their interest in a franchise. If there is a feeling of uncertainty in the direction of where a series is going or a sense of a lack of confidence and conviction in the creative decisions being made, fans are just not going to connect with the product. Now, what made the MCU's first three phases work so well was that the films had a clearly defined universe, a consistent tone and cinematic style and a recognisable brand identity. And of course, they were all moving forward in the same story. It was a very believable shared universe. Everything was moving in a unified direction. By comparison, DC, while having some very big successes over the years, I think they failed to produce a comparable and cohesive comic book movie universe to rival the MCU. Instead, we've gotten some occasional standalone films that are completely separate from the DCEU, like the 2019 Joker film or 2022's The Batman, which just creates more fragmentation and confusion for the audience. I'm not saying those films weren't successful, but it's still confusing and fragmenting. But I suppose it does continue the current multiverse trend all the same. Regardless, The Flash wasn't expected to make a big box office splash. But its first weekend was a good deal lower than even some of the most modest forecasts had predicted. I'm hoping that this results in a creative course correction for the future of DC on film. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. 
The Dave Cullen Show is made possible by you, my generous subscribers. If you'd like to support my work, head on over to my subscribe star linked below in the description box. And for a pledge of as little as $1 per month, you can help to keep the show going. I'm also doing one-to-one -one monthly subscriber chats. Thanks again. Take care.